Welcome, my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Tarot and Oracle card forecast for this week. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please be sure when you do subscribe to click that little bell button and make it ring and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings go out for you to view. And also when I choose to go live and give out free card messages and spirit messages. As you know, this is strictly a general collective reading and that means that not every single card or the energy that they carry may resonate with every single one of you. So take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe for others. If you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any personal questions then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. But all that information is posted below this video. So my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, please view this video with an open mind. You have the mindset and free will to create the life you desire and the direction you wish to go on this personal journey. So let's get on with your reading. Welcome my beautiful Leos, my beautiful lions. Here is your tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of December the 20th to the 26th, 2020. Merry Christmas and happy holidays my beautiful, beautiful lions. We are starting off with our energy cards here. First of all, I'm seeing that you need to not compare yourself to other people so much, okay? Uh, you know, keep your eyes trained on yourself. This is all about you stepping up this week into your own individuality, your own authenticity, your own uniqueness, okay? Um, you know, step up into your power of your confidence level here this week and don't allow yourself to slip back in that mindset that you're watching other people and how they're doing and comparing yourself to their success or their shortcomings. So never ever slip into that, into that mindset. That's what this message is saying about this week and the energy coming in towards you. You need to take time to rest as well and stop the worry. Maybe some of you are concerned about something and you're waiting to hear or waiting for something to happen. Please know that you need to give something time, okay? It, whatever it is that you could be waiting for to come in, uh, it could be something as simple as just our world getting on again. Uh, and moving in a positive uh, direction without so many restrictions in a healthy way. Or it could be something on a personal level that you are dealing with and you're waiting for it to happen. So just give it time, okay? Let it unfold. You may be meeting someone, uh, some new person coming in that may be offering you their hand and attention, affection, respect, and they come with those gifts even support. Uh, this could be, uh, the, you know, it could be a man for, for some of you. <clears throat> and also the lovers is stepping forward. And this could be male or female, you know, you could be meeting a woman or a woman could be meeting a man here this week and, and the energy going forward here with this reading. And it is also the card of partnerships. But long before it became the lovers and was called the lovers, it was called the decision card and, it, and it's about you making profound life-changing decisions that are that's going to alter your life and it it's determined around another energy another person but know that some of you may be feeling a brand new beautiful love coming in towards you this emotion of wanting to be uh, you know be with each other do everything together and to share everything together this is beautiful you're all over energy is excellent because you've got this, you've got the victory card after hard work, struggle, and investment that you put into some sort of event, some sort of situation in your life. And it's beautiful. So the all of our energy this week is to maintain the thought that at the end of the day, you will be able to say, oh, thank you. Okay, so this is a shift in energy because of all the hard work and effort that you've applied to something. You, you, you know, you've invested your time, effort, blood, sweat, and tears into something here. 
and it's going to come back with a reward for you. Getting recognized, almost public recognition, uh, getting rewarded for it. Maybe some of you are getting a promotion, getting a, you know, a bonus, uh, getting something here around this time of the year that's going to show you they totally appreciate what you've done. And now you're setting your, you know, now you're wanting to step up and head to, towards something new again. But in the meantime, I want you to celebrate that. I want you to know that you worked hard. You know, whatever you were doing, you, you're going to see success and you're getting rewarded for it. Now, keep your options open. It's almost as though, you you know, the world is yours here this week. And you may have to go the distance to do something. You may be traveling, uh, you know, to your job, having to, um, maybe you're getting a promotion that is involving something more international where you're going to have to go to that place actually. Or just going the distance yourself with applying yourself. That's what brings you your greatest rewards when you, you know, when you give of yourself 100% here. So I think some of you may be planning a trip, uh, whether it's pleasure or business. Others, you might just be going the distance and realize that you're coming into your own, okay? That, you know, the world is your oyster and you need to step up and realize that you're making your mark now on the world by whatever it is that you're applying your time, effort, and support and energy into. There, you know, you may have been bored in a past relationship here or with a situation where you felt like you were missing out on, you know, something uh, or you, you know, you were being shortchanged or life wasn't going to change and you got into that sort of funk and that, that sort of down, uh, you know, uh, bored type of feeling. Uh, and, but this is, you know what, you need to step up and realize that there's more things here for you. There's more offers, more opportunities. Be more open-minded, okay? Don't get stuck in your ways, okay? Realize, I, you know, that there's, I think there's something more challenging and exciting that you're wanting to pursue. And right now, you're feeling, yeah, it's not happening. Well, you know, nothing's happening quickly for any of us in our world. So don't allow yourself to get stuck, stuck in that spot. Because what happens is you sabotage yourself. You hold yourself back from excelling and going forward to apply what it is you want to something. For somebody you might, for some of you, you might have been bored in a relationship and there's going to be a new love coming in. For others, you know, you might have been, you know, you might be waiting for something to come in. It's not here yet, uh, but it's going to come. Okay, so keep your options and your eyes open. You've received the Four of Cups twice, okay? And that means you need to keep your options open. Don't hold on to the past so tightly. Don't get up in your head and start thinking, well, it, you know, this was great then and now it's not. And, you know, yada, yada, yada. But this is about you maintaining your, you know, wide open vision, keeping your, your options open, being willing to make changes that might be different. Okay, it's also the card of the extremes in which you spend your money or you save your money or you use your energy or you don't. So keep in mind that you can't give 100% of yourself to everybody all the time and try not to be a people pleaser all the time. Uh, that you have that right to put up barriers and boundaries and, and say no now and then without explanation. Your time is very precious and important to you as well and you need to recognize that, okay? Uh, the, the, other, the other representation is some of you are hermitizing and isolating yourself way too much, okay? It's, we all have to be safe. We all have to do these precautions. We all have to go by the rules. But I think you need to enjoy yourself, not just keep yourself locked up, okay? So get out there and enjoy life. Be careful how much money you're spending at these times. You need to be careful of that. And others, you know, you need to realize that you do deserve to give yourself the odd little luxury for all the hard work that you've done. You're, commun you're a great communicator. You're going to be communicating this week on a, in a creative manner. And you might be working with two or three other people. You, you're, you could be standing up on your platform to teach someone, mentor someone, or just promote yourself and what you have to offer out there. And it could have to do with your career and your job. But you could also be getting together with a team and group of people collectively and collaborating your ideas together for one main successful goal. Your, your gift is going to come in here because you've got the Six of Pentacles and that is fairness, division of, you know, give and take energy and, um, you know, and in fairness, you will be doing that. This could be something that's coming into you 
could be a gift that someone has charitably gifted you with and and you know you you may be doing this for someone else at this time uh, be careful you know like I say it's right next to that four of Pentacles with with giving out these gifts of money be careful that you're not overspending beyond your means here but you will be dealing with push pull and give and take energy around you with people and you're going to do it in a fair and just manner which is great you're going to be hearing about something very exciting some new event something that's going to get you motivated something that's going to make you want to go towards something with action okay and you know you're going to be able to do that don't take too more than you can handle but with the pages of wands, this is beautiful information, inspiration, enthusi gives you some enthusiasm to go towards something that you want to do. That's going to give you, you know, you're going to be able to promote yourself and get out there and do something uh, on an individual level. You've got a choice here that you need to make. The two of pentacles often speaks of balance, maintaining stability, uh, you know, don't take on more than you can handle. It is a busy time of the year, I get it. But don't take on more than you can actually handle, okay, or bite off more than you can chew. So you might have to organize yourself a little bit better when it comes to dividing and allocating the work that you have to do and maybe asking others to help in the meantime as well. There could be two offers coming in this week or in the near future that you're going to have to think about, but you're definitely going to choose the one that's going to benefit you the best. So the tree the tree says that you are you're going to have affairs with the family so you may be getting together this could be the team here people that you're getting together with as well uh being a good team player uh getting along with your family having harmony in the family home but you will be this is the family tree and you know you will be getting together and hopefully for most of you it's going to be a beautiful reason to get together probably because they're going to recognize you for the victory and celebration and for the gifts. Maybe it's gift giving, give and take of each other and sharing of that because it is going to be, you know, we are moving in and it is the week of Christmas. Now, let's clarify some of these here. Let's see what we have here. You've got the Wheel of Fortune on top of the victory card. Are we surprised? No. What other card would you get on that? Certainly. So, you're karmically being sent your good news okay the energy around you is shifting and it is always a beautiful card of spin the wheel okay there's good cards around it so it's good luck coming into you all right momentum moving forward okay going in the right direction and now you're going to see the energy shift around you here you're going to be able to see recognition from others and you're moving on in a brand new beautiful positive direction because you've completed something here that you worked hard for and you're getting rewards for it beautiful moving forward the world is yours going the distance and yes because you promoted yourself you're the star you're you're the you know you're you're your own star you're standing on your own platform your own stage illuminating yourself getting out there creatively showcasing yourself okay you're the showstopper here and because of that, you will be able to make long-term positive plans in the future. Don't get up in your head here, okay? Don't hang on to the past too much. Try not to compare yourself to other people in the process because you don't need to. You have this ability to get out there and promote yourself. And you're going the distance to achieve that beautiful success that you so deserve. The lovers, partnerships, could be partnerships in business or partnerships in getting together with a loved one. You know, you might be, you know, committing yourself to each other. You've had a hard struggle here, though. This is the ten of the ten of wands, and that means that you had to push hard. There were times when you had to really work on this relationship for some of you. But I think, you know, when the ten shows up, it's completion. It's done. You did all the work you could do, and you're going to see the success of this coming through beautiful it could be also you know you might have been in a relationship as I had said here where it was stagnant you felt bored and you were missing out but you have this new relationship coming in here as well again the card of communication all right you know you may have a choice and a decision here to make uh, about something okay now 
it could involve the family. Maybe there's somebody in the family that you're going to have to make this decision over. And it's almost like you're at a crossroads and you don't know what to do. And it, you need to see the picture in complete clarity. Be a good listener as well as a good communicator here. And you will be able to make this choice and decision that's determined around another person. And it could be a family member. It could be your partner. It could be somebody uh, that you work with. It could be a legal issue that you are having to settle here. Okay. Again, keeping your options open. You've got the five of wands. So this is you promoting yourself. Okay. Uh, this is you proving yourself. This is you going out there and realizing that the world is full of competition. And you know you need to keep your options open. Okay. Don't keep your eyes closed when something new comes in because competition is out there and they're ready to step in our shoes at the blink of an eye if we don't take the opportunity coming towards us. So there could be some so there could be some competition and you could be proving yourself uh, what you have to offer here. And I do believe this is why you've promoted yourself well. You're going to see this victory come in. Your choices here, you're balancing yourself. You're going, as long as you do this, look what you've got, the happy ever after part, the ten of cups, okay? You're going to see happiness. I mean, that was evident with the Wheel of Fortune and with the, with the Six of Wands, the victory card, and the star. Gifts coming into you this week, beautiful. You're making the right decisions here and right choices now so that you're going to be able to have harmony, happiness, fulfillment, and abundance coming into you. And that could be in all parts of your life, relationships, romance, and business. Don't be afraid to step out on your own and work hard for what you want because you've got the eight of pentacles on top of this beautiful offer of something new and inspiring. Maybe you're stepping out to open up a secondary business or a sideline gig where you're making a passive income. The, these times have proven to a lot of us that we, we should have a secondary income to fall back on uh, in times like this when, you know, we get caught and things that we hadn't expected would happen. So it's like when the, you know, when the stock exchange crashes and, and, you know, people don't anticipate that. So you're working hard towards your craft, perfecting something. And as long as you do this, you do your due diligence, you do, you stay determined and you stay focused, you're going to see this abundance coming into you for sure. And it's because you, you're doing this, so many of you working on this, that you're going to succeed, staying focused. Give and take, the gifts are going to come in. Time, effort, support, or money. And you've got the sun. Oh my gosh, best card in the whole deck. I love this. you got the star and the sun, my beautiful Leo. So this is, again, being able to see light at the end of the tunnel, having a breath of relief, being able to go out there and, and enjoy yourself. This is also, you know, saying that you're going to be able to enjoy good, good harmony within uh, relationships and also good health, okay, improving and good health as well. So gifts are coming in in so many different ways for each and every one of you in your own way. Well, again, there will be affairs you'll have to deal with with the family here, but I look at it as good things. I didn't give you a a verification card here, confirmation card here for this one. What, what did you get? You got the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So you had the page and now you have the Knight. And this is something coming in that could be coming in very suddenly and you do have to act on it, okay? So your boredom is going to be over soon. It could be the signing of a contract, partnerships, anything like that. Act on it. Don't take your time because again, I say someone could be out there competing with what you want and they're ready to jump into your shoes as soon as you step back. So keep your keep your wits about you, okay? And But at the same time, something might be taking time, and I don't want you to worry about it, okay? But you will have to possibly be signing contracts and, and uh, you know, things like that or partnerships like that. And it, this is an exciting, this is like when the page came with it, now you've got the night arriving there. Okay, so something very suddenly is going to land in your lap that you will have to pay attention to. Don't procrastinate about it. Well, my beautiful Leos, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week to look forward to. And again, I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Always remember that the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. 
please know that my blessings and my prayers are that you stay in continued good spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical well-being and good health. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.